Revelio. Alohomora. Wingardium Leviosa. Solves that. Blockade. Rookwood's poachers are already here.
Could the Phoenix be in there? Could bring them. You've seen how much a single feather fetches. <laughs> Just imagine the whole blooming bird. Oh, should have stayed at the castle. How unfortunate for you. Uh, you may want to. Couldn't bring her. Take her. days are over. More poachers. Come on, are there? <laughs> Bombarda. Let me 
Phoenix. It almost seems as if it wants me to follow it. I need to find it before the poachers do. Let's get it. The beasts are safer now. Alohomora. There it is again. Confringo! Revelio. Well, it isn't a little hypocrite. Predator! 
somewhere safe. Let's get you back to the room. Deke's going to be pleased. Should investigate. Bombarda. Confringo. Capulso. Can 
dangerous if I'm not careful. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Did you find the phoenix? Yes, Deke. And I rescued it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable! Well, what are you waiting for? Deke cannot wait to... You keep it close. Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the Room of Requirement. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. A phoenix is safe now, 
Because of you. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Thank you. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words and also grateful to have been of assistance to someone like yourself. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a sense of peace Deke hasn't known in years. Deke will always be here for you when you need him. A lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. <sighs> Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice? Seems... risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the Headmaster, well, he could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an Aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well from what I understand. He won't say but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So, I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. This place has seen better days. Revelio. Revelio. Accio. Huh. 
Revelio. Accio. Rebellion. Lumos. Confringo. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Lumos. Accio. Lumos. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Rebellion. Ugh. 
Shame I didn't have an audience for that one. Knowing a meat, he's likely studied here. You've made a mistake. Take gumption to steal a stolen hypocrite. Your life ends here. Shame. Prove dangerous if I'm not careful.
May I have a moment of your time? Pardon? Were you calling to me? I was. I'm Marianne Moffat. Pleasure. At the moment, I'm having a great deal of trouble trying to find a particular Derricol. Ah, uh, yes. The magical bird can disappear when it senses danger. Peculiar things, aren't they? Did you know that muggles call them dodos? <laughs> Such a funny name. I'm worried about a large albino derricol known as Gwenaira. She's a local legend, so of course poachers are after her. If I had her, I'd treat her like a queen. And I could use her molted feathers as fashion accessories. Seems you're more concerned with the feathers than the bird. But she'd be safer with you than with poachers. Indeed. They'd pluck her feathers and likely kill her when they were through. I can't seem to rescue her, and I'm worried the Derricals don't trust me since I've been hanging about their den. Why are you fixated on Gwenaira and not rescuing all the Derricals? Gwenaira is special. She's more attractive to poachers with her lovely plumage. They'll try harder to take her. The other Derricals seem to have managed evading poachers quite well on their own. Can you tell me what the Derricol den looks like? It's down by the shore, on a sort of overhanging cliff. You'll recognise it by all of the Derricals lolling about. I'll keep an eye out for a large white Derricol. Oh, thank you. Those gorgeous feathers. And she'd be safe. One last thing. She seems to spend her days in hiding. I've only ever seen her at night. I do hope you're able to save her. Be prepared to chase her. I sometimes wonder if she actually enjoys the pursuit. I suppose I should watch for Gwenaira. At night, apparently. Hello, sir. Might you have some time to talk? I have all the time in the world for a potential customer. <laughs> How do you do? I'm Cromwell, Clifford Cromwell. I'd like to ask you a bit about Mar and Weem, if you don't mind. Of course. Lived here for years. Lovely, peaceful place to settle in. Have you heard rumours about dark witches or wizards lurking nearby? Try to avoid them when I can. Nasty lot, Rookwood's crew. However, I did see a poacher not too long ago. Not good for business. Not good at all. I'd like to learn a bit about you, sir, if you don't mind. Well, how charming. No one ever asks about me. Been in Marrowneen since I left Hogwarts. I did some work with the Ministry as a young man. A uh, confidential project. <laughs> it had to do with the usage of mandrakes. As weapons, believe it or not. I went through enough cotton wool in my ears to fill a cauldron. But after a time, I sought a quieter life. Set up shop here, selling my wares. I am always content among my plants. What can you tell me about your shop? I sell plants and their byproducts here. Herbology was always my passion, even as a young Hufflepuff at Hogwarts. I've met some interesting students in Hufflepuff. Hard-working lot, I gather. We are indeed. Glad to know our reputation still stands strong. What do you have for sale? Ah, yes. What can I do for you? I hope this serves you well in all of your future herbological ventures. Such a pleasure doing business with you. Be sure to visit again. Always brightens my day helping you young ones.
Alohomora. Mine now, Demi guys. Alohomora. This must be the Diracle Den that Miss Moffat told me about. Now where is Gwenaira? Levioso! Got her! Now I need to let Miss Moffat know. Quiet, if you ask me. See, I'll have my own operation worked out one day. People working for me. Confringo! Let me 
the pulse. Pity. Not quite. Not quite. Hello, ah. Hamora. Ah. As a fake could have seen that. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Oh, hello. Any luck finding Gwenaira? Miss Moffat, I caught Gwenaira. It's incredible! Was it terribly difficult? Ah, uh, not too bad, if you know what you're doing. Don't be so humble about it. Well, may I have her now? Of course. Oh, you're too kind. She has such exquisite plumage. Oh, I shall make the finest attire from her feathers. And she'll have a good life too, of course. <sighs> Thank you so much for bringing me Gwynaira. I shall keep her safe and only use her feathers sparingly. Could it be? Revelio. I hope he hasn't been kidnapped or eaten. Hello, madam. Is everything all right? I'm simply beside myself since Rococo ran away. He's my pet Niffler. I'm sorry to hear that your pet is missing. Thank you. I appreciate your words. I mean, I've had him for years. He's lovely company. Whilst on our morning constitutional the other day, south of here, he and I stumbled upon Henrietta's hideaway. They say that Henrietta was a paranoid recluse, filled her castle with all manner of traps to keep thieves from pinching her valuables. As we drew near, the morning sun reflected off something in a window, and before I knew it, Rococo was off. Oh, I've been worried sick, but I'm not about to meddle with Merlin knows what's inside that house, or the Ashwinders that are lurking about. 
Why did Henrietta feel the need to protect her house like she did? Henrietta was a baroness who married well, more than a few times. Her immense wealth drove her to a life of suspicion and isolation. The more wealth she amassed, the more paranoid she became of losing it. Hence the terrifying traps throughout the hideaway. Not even her family has been willing to deal with them to get to her fortune. Why don't you just get Rococo back yourself? Henrietta's hideaway is treacherous enough, but add Ashwinders into the picture and, well, I love Rococo, but I love staying alive more. I'll keep an eye out for Rococo. Oh, that's terribly kind. But stay away from the hideaway. Far too dangerous. If someone does find him in the hideaway, they shall be well rewarded. Henrietta's treasures are theirs for the taking. She certainly won't mind now. I should be going now. Thank you. That hideaway does sound intriguing. Perhaps I should investigate, for Rococo's sake. Alohomora. 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 Confringo!
Gracias. Hello, Hamora. Too hard. This looks intriguing. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Revelio. Merlin trials won't get the best of me.
Fringo! Alohomora. These rocks have seen better days. I should investigate. I'm gonna enjoy this. Confringo! It's all about having a keen eye. Take me, for instance. My eyes as keen as a nifflers on a pile of gold, or a nogtail to a sow. No, uh, I'm not bragging. That's just the truth, that is. Can't help me natural gifts now, can I? Alohomora.
Might be interesting to see where this leads. Confringo! Bombarder! Protego! Stupid one! Aloha Mora. <laughs> 